Hey everybody, this is Joe, and here's what I'd like you to know. Are you like me? Do you get a little bit slow in the wintertime, uh, photography-wise, not mentally-wise? I'm slow all the time. But do you get slow looking for something to do? Um, do you get worried? What do you, you know, what, what, what goes through your head? I know it goes through mine. So I basically take the talent that I have been given. It's a God-given talent, and I'm very thankful for it. And I go out and I help other businesses that really can't afford services. They might be able to afford them, but you can tell. You can tell those that need it, those that um, are really struggling, but really do good for the community. So I went out yesterday and I took right here this little uh, uh, bag and inside it, I just have a little Leica Q3 and um, I have their remote or their trick, their flash trip trigger. And then I have the flash for it. And this is the S SF60, the Leica SF60. And then this is the SFC1. So these three things in a light stand. So I basically um, shot all the photographs I'm going to show you yesterday with this little combination. It, I, I'm a firm believer in the more stuff you take in, the worse it gets. I mean, I used to take light stands, four or five strobe units, backgrounds. It's just, that was a phase in my life and I learned a heck of a lot learned a lot shooting pictures, learned a lot dealing with people. I learned a lot uh, and everything. I learned every day. Um, I'm, I'm 60 years old. I learn every day. I got into digital back in 2001. Um, I was all Hasselblad and ended up moving on to digital early, early on. So I'm an early adapter. Um, but, but, what I'm trying to say is get outside, get out there in the community and do something for people that need it. If you have that talent, you get, if you take an hour of your time, you would do so much good for people. Uh, the, it's called Greatness Cafe. That's where I started it yesterday. And the owners, uh, there's one owner and he's got a, he's got a partner that's, uh, does, is, he's a chef there and he has kidney failure. So they, they come up with all these combinations of food that are very healthy and to heal your body to help. And the owner is a um, counselor and he has his computer open when you walk in the door, walk into their little cafe and people that have just want to talk, that have some kind of crisis or need some advice, he's there. And he's really, really cool. Um, Cyrus is his name, just a cool dude. And anyways, I got to talking to them and I set up this thing yesterday and I did some pictures of some of their, uh, just some of their drinks and also uh, his sister works with them and she makes some really good cookies. She gave me some cookies. They were off the chart. I really, I mean, they were really good. I'm not a big cookie fan unless it's like chocolate chip. That's just me. But these cookies were they were iced and they were just phenomenal. So I got some pictures of them uh, in the little kitchen area, him mixing up uh, chickpeas, whatever he was making, and her doing the cookies and then uh, putting the icing on, frosting. It was really, really cool. And then I did a picture of the three of them and then one of Cyrus. And all of that was taken with this little camera and that flash unit. That's it. I mean, I did have a stand, so I don't have to, it gets old holding like this. So you see me walking around sometimes and I got, but having, um, having that stand makes it a lot easier. Didn't have, did not have any umbrellas, nothing. And I just bounced the flash off the little card that's built into it. Very simple. I know it's unorthodox and really don't care because I love what it, how the, the process is, how it come out. Uh, you could pick it apart, I'm sure, but for what I was doing, it's it beats having a camera, having a flash on top camera. It's just never really like that look. I don't like using flash. And it's not that I don't know how to use flash. I love flash. I just don't like using it on camera. I absolutely hate that. 
Uh, and then there's a bakery across the street. Uh, he used The name was Lieberman's Bakery in Maslin. They've been in the community for, gosh, I don't know, 60, 70 years, long time. And they recently sold, I think a couple years ago, and they kept the name, but it's Lieberman, Lieberman's and Beyond. And the, the sad thing is, because Lieberman's was a community, family, people, people in that town don't really support the new owners, which is sad. So, and their, their pastry, honestly, is probably the best that, they have a devil's dog there, and I'll, I'll show you a picture of that. I took a picture, it's called a devil dog, it's like a whoopie pie. And those are my absolute, absolute favorite. But their cookies, their donuts are phenomenal. Um, but she said, you know, if we could just get people to let go of that, well, I said, we're not in the bloodline, we're not, and I think it's just a bunch of crap. Just plain crap. So I went in, got some stuff. They don't even know who I am. I mean, they don't. They didn't know I was a photographer. So I went in, I got some stuff, and I took it back to the studio, and I took some pictures for them, and I posted them on Facebook, and the the outpour is, is amazing. People just, you know, they love, and it starts talking. They talk about, oh, God, I forgot about them. I love that place. I, I got to stop back. I got to get... And just sometimes it's just a little bit of effort on our part as a photographer to make things really turn around. I think photography makes the world go, brother. I really, really do. And it's in my soul, it's in my heart. I, I never leave, I always have a camera with me, whether it's this camera, my Nikon, whatever it is, I always have a camera with me. Um, because I just never know. I never. I always look around. And I always look for things to shoot, and it's just nice to be able to capture something that nobody else is going to do. There's plenty of photographers in this town. I don't see, and maybe they do, but I don't see any of them going around to different businesses or free, taking pictures, or trying to help a uh, a community out, um, somebody that helps young kids. I don't see that, but I try to do that all the time. And I, I'm thankful that I have the ability and I'm blessed and I can do it. So take your talent and, and use it for good. Make it, you know, make somebody's day, make a kid's day, make somebody that can't afford a photograph. I do a lot, I do a lot for people that have cancer. I mean, I, document whatever they want I actually uh, do some portraits before they really start to go uh, downhill from chemo and things and um, I do uh, Down syndrome autism all of that is for free free I do that all the time firemen policemen they can come in here anytime and get a portrait taken that's what I do that's what I am about so I'm thankful. Those people put their lives on the line all the time. I've done it for uh, first responders, uh, nursing, whatever I do, I do that. And it's an open invitation. And I will, every once in a while, throw it on Facebook. Come on down, get a picture taken. You know, it's not going to cost you anything. To, what's it, five minutes, ten minutes of my time? They have a nice little picture of them. Uh, we do that for the military, do it for a lot. So it's important, at least to me, it's important to give back. Because you can't outgive. You're just not going to outgive. And I'm thanking God for what I have and who I am and where I'm at. It's not all perfect. I struggle, believe me, slow right now. But there's a lot of people in a lot worse shape than or place than I am. So everything's relative. But I just wanted to share that with you. You don't need a big camera. Yeah, this is an expensive camera, but you can do this with a Fuji. You do this with a Sony. You can do it with whatever you have. Um, but just get out there and put your name out there. Let people know who you are, what you're doing, how, how you can help them. We, as, a, was, as photographers, I really think, owe that. I mean, we, there, we always grab pictures of everything and some people don't want their pictures taken but we do it anyways 
Um, I try to be really, very respectful. I really do. But what I'm saying is nothing's going to replace... AI is not going to do what we're doing. Yeah, you can tell it to type something and you can have something created. It's not like going out there. Communication is key. Communication in business is absolute key. You can't be afraid to talk to people. Text messaging is nice, but it's a pain. It, it's just like everybody wants a text message. Everybody text messages while they're driving. But when you go out and physically meet and talk face to face, you will not you will not beat that. Text messaging emails are not going to beat somebody in person. I don't care what anybody says. It's not going to happen. Uh, I like communications. Do I want to be bothered all the time? No. But if I'm going out to help somebody, or if I'm trying to get my point across or show what I can do, then I think it's phenomenal that we have that ability with our camera, with our eyes, to capture the world and to share it with those that need it. Let me know your thoughts. This is how I think. Anyways, keep shooting. Do something good. Talk to you later. Bye.